Niobium is one of those very special elements that a lot of people don't really understand how much it's used in, in today's world. Let's, let's talk about its primary uses though. Uh, the very first use, about 45% of all the niobium used in the world today is used for infrastructure or architecturally uh, large buildings. Uh, that's because it provides the strength that you need for the steel, it lightens the steel, and it makes it much easier to, to haul materials to the site. I mean, just think about the large bridge in, in France that was built, the largest suspension bridge in the world. And because they used a niobium-based steel, they were able to reduce the weight of the steel and the concrete used to build that bridge by 60%. Just think of the cost savings for that project because you don't have to haul all that heavy material on site and the emissions that we save because of, of hauling those materials on site. So to me, that, that is one of those unsung heroes in the metal industry uh, is, is niobium. Second most prominent use is in the automobile industry. About 23% of the niobium in the world today is used for the automobile industry. That's used in a form of, of steel called high strength, low alloy steel. It's HSLA. And the interesting thing about the automobile industry is that 20 years ago, there was absolutely zero HSLA used in the construction of an automobile or the frame or any of its parts. Today, over 50% of the steel in that automobile is actually HSLA. And that's because they want the car to be safer for you and I as consumers. It makes the steel much stronger, but it also makes the steel much lighter. And because it's lighter, that means I have to put less gas in my tank to travel around. And it meets the mileage requirements that the EPA and other government agencies have for it. So those are two huge uses. The third largest use, about 16% of the niobium in the world goes into the oil and gas industry. And this is a, a particularly important area, although it's the third largest use, it is actually an area where there are no substitutes for niobium. The niobium provides the strength and, and for the pressures that you're, you're undertaking in the oil fields. It provides the corrosion resistance that you need and it, it allows these pipelines to go for long distances. So you got temperature, corrosion, and strength and niobium provides all of that. Niobium is a fun metal because just like everything else in the world, we're engineering things better. And when you put niobium into a special recipe that an engineer says, we have to have these characteristics with this metal before it will be useful, it's pretty nice to have a friendly element like niobium that you can blend in. Again, I call it the unsung hero in the metals industry. It does more things than, than what we can ever advertise in a short clip.